I have one issue that I need to address like the numbers on the house. And that issue is MP. Let's talk about MP. I'm hearing his coach isn't a fan. Thinks he's more into fame than actually hooping. And I got to say, I agree wholeheartedly. You, hear, you ever hear of an NBA player with a YouTube channel? Michael Jordan didn't have no YouTube channel. LeBron James don't have no YouTube channel. Let's get serious here, people. I'd be shocked if MP starts a game this year. This coach isn't starstruck. He's going to make MP earn every single minute, as it should be. But hey, maybe I'm wrong. All eyes are on MP now. Is he going to fold under the pressure? If I'm Harvey Lesser, the GM who overruled his coach, I'm up at night sweating all over this. Good luck, Mr. Lesser. You and MP are going to need it. I'm not surprised at all that MP was stooped this low. I told y'all, he didn't like the coach. And you know with that little channel of his, he wants the drama. It's good for ratings. Believe me, I know. And can we talk about this tweet for a second from user start MP, you idiots? First of all, is that your burner MP? I refuse to believe a real person would name themselves that. Second of all, the tweet said, and I quote, free my boy MP. I swear y'all clowns wouldn't know Michael Jordan if he smacked you in the face. Are you kidding me, MP? You think you're Michael Jordan? And you want to talk about clowns? The only clown here is you, running around with your Twitter fingers, acting like a fool like this. Hey, y'all. I got to talk about this interview MP gave to my boy, Frank Valentine. First of all, nice scoop, Frank. You did good here. Second of all, I told y'all, this relationship is doomed. Dirty laundry in the press, finger pointing, complaining. Speaking of which, now I'm hearing MP wants out entirely. Does this surprise me? How do you salvage this relationship between him and coach after all he's done and so publicly? I know I wouldn't want this YouTube star on my team after all that. I hate to say I told you so, but if the shoe fit, wear it. This was a bad idea on day one, and it's a bad idea today. If I'm Harvey Lesser, I cut my losses and trade this kid immediately. He's not worth it. Oh, do we have big news today <laughs> in our basketball world is that our old friend MP officially wants out. We knew this thanks to the embarrassing interview he gave to Candace Green of the pin down. Not only did he confirm that he wants a trade, making this way too public, but he talked about where he wants to get traded. This kid is an embarrassment to the game. What have you done to demand a trade this early in your career, MP, and then make it all public like this? You're making it impossible for your GM, who overruled his coach to draft you, by the way, to get a good return for you. It's an embarrassment, plain and simple. But what do you expect from this so-called YouTube star? Not about the game, all about the fame. Carry on. Here we go. I knew this was coming. I got a lot of you fools in my mentions over MP's first game with his new team. Only a fool despise wisdom, okay? You think one good game means something? Well, I got news for you. One good game doesn't prove you're allowed to act like he did. And I need to see a lot more from this kid before I crown him. Let's see him make an all-star team. Let's see what he does in the playoffs. Y'all out here tripping over one game? Please. You've got to show me a lot more than that to get my attention. Carry on. Well, well, well. We're getting pretty close to the All-Star break here. What do you know? MP's name does not seem to be at the top of anyone's list. I'm not the one to gloat, but this just goes to show 
I was right. MPs all talk, no game. We knew this coming into the season, and now that tree is bearing fruit. For those of y'all still holding out hope, I say give up. MP wants the glory, but he doesn't want to put in the work. What did you expect from this so-called YouTube star? Forget the season. I'd be shocked if he ever make an all-star team. That's how I see it anyway. I'm not starstruck by this kid. I just see the game. We are joined live in studio today by MP, yours truly, the YouTube sensation turned NBA baller. MP, welcome to the show. Oh, man, thanks for having me, Kendrick. We've seen you have your ups and downs this year. Right, yeah. There was some talk about you being an all-star snub. But being honest with you, I don't think you're there yet. Okay. And I think if you want to help your team make a run in the playoffs, you got to step it up big time in the second half of the season. What do you say about that? You know what? I think that's fair criticism. I know I'm just now scratching the surface with the kind of player that I can be in this league. You know what I'm saying? I'm working hard every day with the coaching staff. You know what? Shout out Coach G. All the teammates, they've been dope. The vets, especially. And I mean, if I continue to grind, I think, I think we'll be all right. Will it be a disappointment for you personally if you don't take your team deep into the playoffs? You know what, Perk? Every team want to win a championship, man. That's how you start off the season. And of course, if you don't reach that goal, that's going to be a huge disappointment. But look, only one team can get that chip. So if I'm doing everything I can do, that's all I can do. You know what I'm saying? That's fair enough. Thanks for your time, MP, and good luck in the second half. Yeah, thank you, Perk. Ladies and gentlemen, guess what? It's that time of the year when the good rookies start separating themselves from the pack. And wouldn't you know, MP is still right in the middle of that pack. It's because he's nothing special. Just like I've always said, he had a lot of hype with his little channel, but this is the NBA. This is real ball right here. Is it technically possible he could go on the run? I guess. Is it technically possible that I could become a gymnast? I don't see that happening either. This is the MP you're going to see going forward. So get used to it. It's that time of year again, my friends. My favorite time of the year, the NBA playoffs. Who wants to smoke? This is where legends are made. LeBron King James, Kobe Mamba Bryant, Michael Jeffrey Jordan, Larry Legend Bird. If you want to be an all-time great, you got to do it on the biggest stage, under the brightest lights, with the most pressure possible. That's what separates the good from the great, the real from the fake. If you're a fraud, you'll get exposed in the playoffs point blank. Things get physical this time of year, and you get every team's best shot every single night. If this doesn't get your blood pumping, then you don't like basketball. Straight up, it's playoff time, baby. Let's get it. Ladies and gentlemen, we were one win away from MP winning the chip in addition to being the front runner for rookie of the year. Can a kid from YouTube do the impossible? I got to say, as someone who's been doubting MP all season, he's made a believer out of me. That's right. I'm on the MP train now, baby. Shoot, I'm driving that sucker. MP is the truth. No ifs, ands, buts about it. And Smart Money says he gets it done tomorrow night. Hey, when I'm wrong, I'm wrong. And I was wrong about MP. What can I say? He's got what it takes. He helped his team win a chip. Respect for real. All that being said, we need to pump the brakes on all that legend talk. How many rings does MJ have? Kareem, Tim Duncan, LeBron, Shaq. MP is a special talent, but is he that nice? That remains to be seen. <laughs>